Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we will start the painting class. Painting class. This is a comic school. Why do you need a painting class? So, some comic books are black and white, but some comic books are in color. And um, this is a very classic one. It's Wolverine. Um, I guess this is a Dan Green Mark Silvestri, uh, Mark Silvestri, um, and let us see, Glynis Oliver on the colors. So this is a pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, let me adjust this a bit. This is pretty um, basic. It's uh, Marvel in the late in the late um, 80s, I guess. And as you can see, pretty basic coloring, beautiful um, pencil layouts by Mark Silvestri and then Dan Green, um, one of my favorite inkers. Look at this. Um, they're using, I guess, Marvel, Marvel's, Marvel's uh, 63 color palette which I used to make my comic books, but we will also talk about resonating color, uh, colors. So, if you know you want to be a penciler, um, somebody who just does the pencils, um, should you skip this class? Well, if you know you want to focus on this, skip this. But um, a well-rounded education will go a long way and I will tell you how um, well I was kind of drawn to painting like look this is a painting I made or how I saw it and this is the color palette from Marvel so I'm somewhat drawn to it related um, and you know I was drawn to painting um, I have written um, penciled inked and colored my comic and printed it myself. I will show you this um, sometime soon or you will find it in a link up here or maybe in a playlist. Um, but yeah, coloring class, coloring, coloring comics. Um, yeah, this is like um, Glynis Oliver did it and I'm a big fan of hers and when you have beautiful inks like look at this like it doesn't need much more um, a beautiful bar a beautiful babe how many colors can you count there on the babe I guess it's one two three four the skin color the hair color the jeans and the boots that's it and that's storytelling you don't need color if you want to uh, draw something like berserk or a manga or if you like black and white you can also do it like um, Daniel Warren Johnson did his first comic Space Mullet he used only one or two colors I mean uh, a light blue I guess and we will talk about um, kind of picking a color palette so you don't get uh, confused or messed like look look at this beautiful very clear I know there's some new coloring but um, this is kind of dipping into coloring and why it is needed or why you may want to do it because I was drawn to coloring and so I think um, it is something that is needed so where do I start I just show you a couple of things I guess where I started pretty naturally at the beginning was just um, drawing stuff like, as you can see, um, pencils. This is not mine, I drew this, but I have also my own pencils. Um, and then I, I went from the pencils, this is uh, my design for a Death Watch uh, veteran, which I would then ink in a very kick-ass way. And then once it's inked, I either scan it and work in Photoshop to color it, but there's also um, a lot of other great um, 
coloring programs and then I make like the ink lines in the above layer and the layer below you will see the color or the flats and down you will have uh, the background. And so typically before I start painting um, we need something like this. Um, blue lines or pencil lines and a layout. You have see, seen the goal, it's kind of something like this or maybe um, you want to paint a comic cover. Let me zoom out a bit. Can I zoom out? I just take here this. Like this is a painting I made and um, this is a good friend of mine and I painted also, I will link it up here if I have it, uh, like a John Wick and I sold it. So as a comic artist I was drawn to painting but I was also looking for new avenues to um, grow or to earn money and it was in a phase of my life when I was a bit um, burned out from drawing comics but also wanted to experience something new and we will go into these paintings and I have here I don't know who painted this up but as you can see um, here we have classic pencils inks and flat coloring on the spider-man but the rest of the spider-man um, maybe what's its name del otto um, an italian guy and he clearly painted wait a second i put this down again he painted up this spy, spy, spider-man and i will show you with time how to paint this this is just uh, an introduction to color painting um, traditionally and um, and also digitally so what should you paint and where should you start first of all um, if you're into painting or if you're drawn to painting like look this is this is much of what I really do like um, creating stuff and then as you can see I'm uh, the Klaus Janssen kind of type who puts in just um, a brush stroke from the Pentel brush pen um, and just has fun with his inks here are a bit cooler inks and um, then this one I scanned and I painted up digitally and here this I stole from Todd McFarlane and also let's show you a bit more um, then this I will paint up with some um, not acrylic painting with some aquarelle painting there are different mediums um, I tried a bit of oil but it was not yet mine and yeah you typically start with something like this and this is perfectly made uh, to scan and color it digitally and just put in some skin tone the jeans the t-shirt but also if I paint this um, with watercolor or aquarelles it will also look fine it takes a bit of time let me grab you yeah. let me grab you this um, into colors we will get in the next painting class but as you can see um, putting together skin tones um, lighter tones taking the colors that I have I usually work best with acrylics or um, good um, how do you say aquarelle paints that cost a bit more you can use watercolor but watercolor usually the cheaper one has not um, has not a very good quality um, this one is made with watercolor so this was my April calendar from the year I don't know 2000 and I hope you can see this and I put it um, blue lines on this I was uh, drawing and painting up the girl called Meg Myers and here she's playing Desire on her bass and she looks in real life she looks way harder than I drew her um, and I wish I would have uh, put in more time into the pencils and inks but I kind of just wanted to try I did my best but um, let's call this a color study but as you can see I was putting in this is sheep watercolor you can see it um, and the paper is a bit glossy so you can see the tex texture um, but I just put in the color and 
what does look good is that I put in some yellows from the side so we get a certain plasticity. So we have interesting colors going, going on. Plasticity, we see um, light shines from this side and light shines from this side. And what happens if you have a very flat coloring? Um, this month I put a John Mayer on my calendar and I tried my best. But the guitar, um, this time I painted up um, the picture with acrylics and they cover very good. Sometimes a bit too good. I watered them down so I, they were a bit more um, opaque. But the skin tone, I guess, is a bit too dark. It's Cadian Flesh Tone from Games Workshop. So I should have picked a lighter skin tone and um, it looks a bit more flat because like there's no um, no skin tone values. What I mean is this. Let's look, for example, um, like look here. This is a cover I painted and it's just two skin tones. Um, the basic skin tone and then a darker one. And if I should make something bright, I will just um, hit it with light. Let's see. Well, maybe this one's a bit better. Um, here you can see her blonde hair and I just hit it with some white to clear it up or here her skin gets hit by yellow and the guitar also. Um, that's one of my tactics. I either use uh, a bright color, color or a blue color to brighten things up. But as you can see here on this big picture, like here, there are many um, colors I put in and trying to get um, a shading from, you know what I mean? Like from darker skin tone to a bit more brighter one. But here with this, I uh, use kind of cheap color. So it's not all, not all perfect. And um, I'm just trying out what I can and um, having a blast, having fun. Also here I made kind of the mistake that um, the motive in the middle is our main motive. Oh, wait a second. And um, the background is also very present. So it's very saturated. We don't know really what the center point is. And that's a thing I, I didn't know. And when you start painting, um, it's okay to try out, out stuff and just to do um, sequential art or what, what can I say? Like just put out artwork and see what works, what doesn't work. Here was putting, this is Donovan Frankenrider um, on YouTube singing. Um, I don't know, what is he singing? Um, Swing on by, something like this. And I put down very cheap watercolor and some of it I regret, some of it looks good on Donovan, kinda, um, it covered up the inks and made it a bit darker, um, but overall the picture looks fine and from this, let's call it a sketch, I could develop something like this on a big canvas and then sell it or sell a print or maybe if I draw a cover for a comic I might uh, paint it up and so um, I'm very versatile. There is also something I made here. Um, sometimes in the middle if you draw a painting it doesn't look so nice so it needs to be finished. It needs um, some dark spot, some bright spots so don't um, how do I say despair if it's not yet ready. I will show you a bit of stuff. I will also show you, let me see if I can take this one. Oh, let me put this down this way. So this one 
is very interesting because it's really big and um, as you can see one of my bigger canvases and I was just trying out um, can I get it right and as you can see we we'll zoom in a bit um, the head um, was a bit too big so I painted over it and I will try to brighten it out and in this stage I'm just putting in the rough shapes um, I sketched it before I started to put in um, colors much of it is not yet right but as you can see pencil lines down here they will then disappear and painting is a bit like sculpting in this phase and yeah what has this to do with comics well comics illustrations um, it's good to be flexible sometimes there's no comic work so maybe you could do um, illustration work or maybe it goes hand in hand maybe someone requests a cover like this and you can paint it up and I would recommend to start small when painting I will show you there's also another thing you could do this is what I did and maybe I should show you for a, at first a finished one I don't know is this a finished Evoli um, as you can see this used to be um, a Pokemon card and I took my acrylic paint and I started painting over it as you can see as I zoom in it's uh, very painterly even somewhat what how do you say it's not it's not all perfect but as you zoom out or the further you zoom out the more you get the idea this is a finished painting and um, the Evoli kind of looked well here I'm practicing on Evolis as you can see here um, different color scheme again with uh, acrylic paint it's from Games Workshop or War Painter um, something I paint my miniatures and as you can see I just was trying out um, like practicing same as in penciling or same as in anatomy class you just start to practice and um, become a master of your tool um, I have a certain time already in the things I do like um, when I started I just started penciling then I started inking then I started making a comic then I started um, coloring digitally and then I went back on paper which I will show you in a second and now I started somewhat painting this should be and sometimes things are really messy like um, get used to that sometimes in the middle of a drawing in the middle of a painting in the middle of a comic uh, in the middle of your life things could look very freaking messy but the end product could look really good um, again the John Wick which I linked here on the top when I started it looks it looked so messy I, I was about to throw it away and then when I finished painting it up um, it was I guess one of the first paintings I sold because everyone uh, everybody wanted John Wick and so this should be a Millennium Falcon and here Cloud City um, here I painting up a forest and as you can see here I want to paint up um, Rambo and look how messy this looks like sorry for the for the glare but yeah just that you get an idea and here is just a forest just uh, with gray and white um, covering the first layer of my canvas um, this is how it normally looks you can see like you can practice um, at the beginning I would start I would um, kind of recommend not to start as big as this or as big as this but to start small and do a few a few small practices as you can see here I was um, painting up the door of Moria very painterly you can see the paint um, uh, not one of my best but uh, this is really small like as you can see and I was trying to get a feeling for the color um, how I do this shadings and um, if I would paint it up again I think it would look 
um, much better but this is the best I could do so you will grow as an artist here I was trying to paint up and again um, you can take your time this one I'm proud of this is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator uh, not all perfect but as good as I could with the pencils I had with the knowledge again this is like acrylic paint inks it's all combined and also a bit of the comic like I already I also sold a Pikachu so um, there is a, ma a market for um, altars but I didn't go into this because like not that I couldn't compete but um, my focus or my heart tells me um, definitely focus on painting I don't know why but also definitely focus on making good comics and um, my, my colleague and uh, mentor Ralph Niese um, definitely painted up his cool covers um, I link it here and I will show you a comic of his. This should be Minas Thirith and um, here on the swamps I want to let a golem walk and as you can see here the Rauros falls but it's not all finished. So while drawing is very exact, exact uh, painting is a bit more like sculpting and yeah this I want to show you. Then before we finish this off um, here a comic idea um, which will be Restless 3000 and um, Technocracy the Thousand Year Reich Julius 3000 so this will be something like Restless 3000 looks like Brad John Spartan Heart and here I have the paintings I want to do CC is behind me Nikki Beach is this Mac Myers I have down um, Jess Martina is here, the beach babe with an ass, and then I want to do a John Mayer, a Selma Hayek, and, and as you can see, like there are a few. Um, here are the comic projects, strange, but then here was just painting up also like a sexy lady, and this I will show you in a second. Luna, Angel of Una, and Grimex, Creator of Galaxy. Maybe now is the time. Let me show you. It always starts like this on a bit, on a bit thicker paper, um, inks on a thicker paper, and then the end product looks looks maybe like this. Not one of my best, but one of my first um, inks covered in acrylics. Um, the shine is from the from the sleeve. Uh, let me show you. So. This was Una, Luna, Angel of Una, and I envisioned her like a battle angel, attack angel uh, for the Chaos Galaxy TCG. And I wanted it to be like Eon Flux and Therese Nielsen and uh, Battle Seraph. So I had my, my, how do you say, references, and then this is what I made. Let me take this out and let's look at this. I will link it up here. Um, there is a video a bit older and I sketched this up. I painted it up with acrylics and yeah, I'm kind of, how do you say, the power sword looks kind of cool. And yes, yeah, you can see a mixture of both um, inking, coloring, not yet where I want to be, but this also doesn't look bad. And um, this is a commission I want to paint for a friend. And Han Solo's face is not as good as it could be. Um, Darth Vader also looks a bit wonky, but still um, it holds up fine, as you can see thick fat brush strokes and then I will paint over this and this is the science night and this is where things went really cool um, mixed ink mixed color as you can see not all perfect but 
with time you get better like you see you you start a piece um you don't make it as big that you cannot finish you make it uh, bite size and then you finish the piece and then once you finish the piece you do another piece and that's how you develop here a crunk um, with a bit of the light from the side um, just two or three colors that also is always a good idea um, because then you have just a certain how do you say it um, you have just a certain color palette you cannot choose from a million colors you choose like um, three or four colors at max and then you do them as you can see here I did my Luna and then here I did my Grimix sketch Grimix creator of galaxies this is what he looks like um, he's creating a galaxy forging one um, as you can see check out Walt Simonson for this William O'Connor too and it didn't really look like a William O'Connor or like a Walt Simonson but I definitely tried to be as kick-ass as I could um, here this thing crafting galaxies with his um, anvil cool design heavy inks and then he creates here a galaxy and that's the picture and I had tons of fun making this I learned a lot um, some things didn't turn out as good as I wanted um, some things went well but again each piece you do will add to your um, artistic confidence I would say so it's very important to start finish start finish and then learn and learn some lessons here I have um, a beast of the black hole I also developed uh, my signature in case I will do um, artwork for trading card games and yeah so sometimes it's good to diversify sometimes let's say you're a comic artist like Greg Capullo but Greg Capullo also did commissions for the World of Warcraft TCG and I guess he still does and his art artwork looks always cool so do I have to add something I guess this was everything um, just a beginning class I will end it with a picture of a beautiful man and a beautiful babe I wish you a good day and more of this magic will come ask questions and the next class will be um, a drawing class but there will also be a few videos on how to start a comic and before that um, some th something that um, in the year 2013 I started making comics but I started to make um, I was starting with a graphic novel the idea to make a concept for like a hundred page comic um, and then pitch it to a publisher and then do 24 issue comics in the likes of Sin City but in a small German town with um, an ex, ex, how do you say it, one who's out of prison and yeah we will see us, stay tuned.